how to prepare for ta and ra position number one figure out what your area of interest is this will help you figure out which labs and professors can you work with for example when it comes to robotics maybe you're interested in computer vision maybe you're interested in working with manipulators maybe you're interested in path planning all of these areas will help you figure out which professors you can reach out to second prepare a list of your skills this is way before resume simply figure out what are some of the areas that you're good at when it comes to skills do you know how to code which programming languages can you code well in so now when it comes to assistantships especially academia you might be working more in matlab compared to other programming languages so make sure you know how to do simulation how to do plots because all of this comes a lot into picture when it comes to research assistantships third also create a list of all the knowledge topics you know now this will be very important when it comes to teaching assistantship so one of the tips that i have when it comes to finding teaching assistantship is going to undergrad professors and see if you can be a ta for them for example let's say you're coming from a background in electronics and telecommunication you have a good knowledge of satellite communications maybe that was a topic that you studied in your undergrad and you're well versed with having that list of areas that you know will help you search for those courses and reach out to those professors and see if you can be a ta for them next create your resume now the reason i mentioned skills and knowledge areas before resume is so that you can tailor your resume for the ta and ra position that you're going for as i mentioned let's say you're interested in computer vision having those projects on your resume which are computer vision and related will make you a better candidate when it comes to resume reviews now next this is super important make sure you're looking at the professor's website this way you can find out what are the areas of research that they are currently pursuing because those are the areas in which they're looking for RA. Similarly, from the website, you will find out what courses they're currently offering. And with this, you can get an idea of what kind of TA positions will be available. So make sure you're looking at the website. Next, this one is super important for research assistantship. Make sure you read the professor's research paper. This way, you will have topics for conversation when you do get a chance to speak with them. And this goes both for professors and their students. Which brings us to the next area. When you go to the professor's website, website make sure you're also looking at their current phd students and current ras because these are the people you can also approach when you're trying to find an ra they will help you understand what the professor needs if they're looking for ras they may be willing to refer you so make sure you're also networking with these people I want to reiterate this topic one more time. I know I mentioned this briefly when I was talking about skills, but make sure you know how to code. This is very important because if you're struggling to code, you might not even get through the interview with the professor for the RA that you're looking for. When it comes to robotics, you are going to code. Maybe it's C, C++, Python, or MATLAB. It could be any of these languages. If you know one of the OOP subjects, you can pick up one with relative ease, but make sure you know how to code. It is very important. Otherwise, you will struggle with your RA and it will also come in handy with your coursework, internship search, full-time search, and all of those aspects. So make sure you really know how to code. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.